right, you're coming at you with another video. And in today's video, I wanted to do another haul. I know I haven't posted here in a while, and it's just I'm one of those people when I start filming, if I don't like something, I will not post it. I'm very, very picky, and I just, I don't know, I just, I, a lot of things have been going on lately, and it's been kind of crazy, and I just thought, Today's pretty chill. I'm home by myself and I thought I just want to film a video. So today I'm going to be filming one of my favorite videos and that is a haul video. I placed an order from Sephora. This isn't a big haul but it is a lot, kind of. And um, I do have some drug I do have some drugstore products that I want to talk about and pretty much everything that I have here with me is all palettes. Which if you know me and you watched my first video, that's something that I did mention. I am a palette junkie and I feel like I need all of them. But anyway, I want to start off by kind of like talking about something really quick. I wanted to hear your thoughts on the Mani MUA palette. Life's a drag. I feel like I'm someone that I feel like I need every palette to start off with. But what do you all think of his palette? I love supporting YouTubers and their palettes. Um, I, right now I'm actually, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. This is what I come up with today. I'm actually wearing the Latte Palette by Kristen Dominique here on YouTube. So, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. I saw the palette and I thought, it's not something that's really calling to me. If anything, I feel like the palette looks like a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, but probably a little bit better quality. Um, the colors in it were boring to me. It didn't scream to me. Um, I feel like I have every one of those colors in my collection. So it's not something that I felt like I needed. But I saw that it caused a lot of controversy and I wanted to put my two cents into it. And I want to hear yours. So leave down in the comments below. Tell me what you think of this palette. I've been seeing it everywhere. People hate it. People love it. Just let me know what you think. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started with the haul. Like I said, it's all palettes. I have those colors and those colors are something that I really reach for a lot and um, so I wanted to try like something a little bit different I know this palette had mixed reviews a lot of people actually a lot of people really didn't like this palette but they did stop me I really wanted to try it apart from the sweet peach palette this palette has a mixture of shimmers and mattes while the other one only has mattes and this is what it looks like on the outside something about Too Faced their packaging is always super cute and this is what it looks like on the inside. It's a very soft palette in my opinion. It has a mixture of shimmers and mattes. Very subtle. Um, something I will say, I can tell by just looking at it. This is not one of Too Faced best formulas. But this is something that I did want to try because I am a sucker for palettes. And just Too Faced in general. So this is the Too Faced White Peach Palette. Very cute. Next thing I want to talk about is a Smashbox palette. And actually, I am not a fan of Smashbox eyeshadow palettes. Their full exposure and their double exposure palettes, that's like their ones in their main line like they always have. I was never a fan of those. I actually ended up giving those away. Um, I don't know what it is. And even their little palettes, like the one that I'm about to show you here, I, I swatched them when I was in old and something about the formula, it just seemed off to me. I don't know what it is. I, think, I don't think eyeshadows is their strong category in their line. I feel like their face products is what gets it for me and a lot of people in general. But this is the Smashbox. What is this called? This is called the Cover Shots Pinks and Palms Palette. And this is what it looks like. It has that cool packaging like where it looks like an explosion. This is like really fun. This is really pretty for the summer. I love colors like this. It's just really, really cute. Very nice. Um, as for the formula wise, I don't know because like I said, I did swatch these in Ulta and I wasn't a fan of some of them, but the colors really called my name, so this is why I ended up picking up this one. I felt the need to wear these glasses because of Wonder Woman, so anyways. The next palettes I want to talk about are from Huda Beauty. I'm a very big fan of the brand. Um, I love like their two main eyeshadow palettes, the rose gold one, um, 
desert dust. I love those palettes. They're absolutely stunning. But I wanted to try like their little mini palettes. And recently they came out with two new ones. And this one is called Gemstone Obsessions. And it looks like this. They're really meaty, but you actually do get a lot of product in the pan. This palette is all shimmers and it's absolutely stunning. This is something that I'm going to grab for a lot. I can already tell. This inspires me. I feel like I can do a lot with it. Palette looks like this. I don't know if my camera is going to focus in my shaking hands. Probably not helping either. But these are very, very stunning. They're all shimmery. And I feel like this is something that I will grab for a lot because I'm a person. I like to wear a lot of color. I rarely ever do neutrals. So I feel like this was very, very pretty. As for the formula wise, we will get to that because I have tried one of them. And we'll just go ahead and swap the other one. And it is called Coral Obsessions. And it looks like this on the outside. Very, very, very pretty. This palette just screams summer to me. It's very, very gorgeous. Um, if anything, I feel like if you're someone that wanted the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette and it's always sold out, or just like, I don't know, these warm palettes and you don't want to pay like a big price for them, this one's not too bad. This is $27, but you got to think, the quality of these are absolutely amazing. It has two shimmers and then the rest of them are mattes and it's very warm shades. It's absolutely Stunning. It looks like this. The next palette I want to talk about, I'm actually a little disappointed because mine come one shadow, it like completely falls out. It's very, very disappointing. And I saw on this palette when they first released it that it did that, and I thought it'd be fixed by now because this palette has been out for a while. But this is the Natasha Denona, and this is the Aries palette. This is the number two. And this is her holiday palette, and it looks like this. This palette was like $48, I'm pretty sure. And then it came down, it was on sale for $34, and I had been eyeing this palette. I was, I wanted it the whole time. I was going to end up purchasing it. Um, but I saw that one of the eyeshadows, well actually, I watched Lottie's review, and there's like two or three shadows that come out on hers. And I had actually forgot about it, so when I got mine in the mail, I was like, oh yeah, I want to see if mine pop out. So I went like this, and then one that last shade, it popped down, and it's that like gold shade. But anyway, the palette looks like this. It's very, very pretty. It has one, two, three, four, four shimmers, and one matte. And actually, something about this matte, I wear the crap out of that color. All the time. I use my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and I remember when I worked at Ulta, I pretty much always had red on my eyes. Now, there are sometimes I'd switch it up, but I've done like a bold red. That's what I wore almost every time I had to work. I loved it. And that's something that I will use a lot. And I really think this palette is just super gorgeous. I have three more palettes to talk about, and they're all drugstore because they are newer launches. And the first two are from CoverGirl, and this is the Katie Cat palette. The first one is in Hot Cat, and I'm pretty sure the other one's Cool Cat. Cool Tones, and yeah, it's Cool Cat, and then these are the Warm Tone shades, and they look like this. Drugstore palettes are hit and miss. I have swatched these. I have swatched these, and I will say they are hit and miss. But since they were newer launches from the drugstore, I did want to pick them up, and I wanted to talk about them. This is the Warm Cat one, and it looks like this. The two shadows that, like, are, that have the cat. The cat faces, those are highly, highly pigmented. I swatched one of them, and it completely wiped the face away, but it's very, very intense. Now, for the matte, some, some of them are not that great. I can't give you a full review on it because I have not tried these, but I did want to pick them up. So, there's that one. And then the Cool Cat one looks like this. I'll take the little brush out. The Cool Cat one looks like this. This one's more colorful. It has some pastel shades. Like I said, those two in the middle that have the cat faces, those are very, very pigmented. They're, and they're both shimmers in both palettes. So that is what that looks like. The last drugstore palette that I want to talk about is from Wet n Wild. And this is, what is this? Not a basic peach. They came out with a line of this eyeshadow palettes. 
and some of them they've redone their older eyeshadow palettes and they just reformulated it. So, um, like I know for Comfort Zone they reformulated that one. Now, I'm not sure on the purple one. I don't think that they did reformulate this one. But this one they came out with and it's called Not A Basic Peach and it looks like this. It has shimmers and mattes. It looks really, really pretty. Pretty for the summer and it's just something that really caught my eye. So that is what that looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I know I haven't posted here in a while, but like I said, things have just been so crazy. And I'm a very picky person. I can sit and I film, I film so many videos. But if I'm not happy with it, and I know in my heart that it's just not, I, I know something's off, I will not upload it. I'll just delete the whole thing. I'm getting better, and I'm trying to start, I'm going to try to upload more frequently. Um... But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really do appreciate it. It means the world. It means the world when you leave comments on my Instagram. I see them and I try to reply to everybody. Thank you so much again for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.